Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the GRE Official Guide, 2000, 2025, fourth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when we are working together. Today we'll do two very simple problems, very straightforward babyish problem that appear on page number 192. Problem number four, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. It's very straightforward. Here are the answer choices 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. We're looking for approximate cost of driving 350 miles. We are told that the gasoline is going to cost us $3 per gallon. And the actual question is says the gasoline costs $2.95. Don't waste your time with $2.95. We're looking for approximate cost. $3 is good enough. And we're going to drive. And it, it tells us the car gives us 33 miles per gallon. If the car gives us 33 miles per gallon, then obviously in 10 gallons, in 10 gallons, we should be able to go 333 miles. 330, 330 miles. We need to go 350 miles. Other other 20 miles will take less than less than less than one gallon. That's what it is. The total cost of driving, total cost of driving should be less than thirty three dollars. Thirty thirty dollars, ten gallons, ten gallons, thirty dollars will take us three and thirty miles. Another gallon will be more than sufficient to go another twenty miles. Thirty three the answer since we're looking for approximate answer approximate cost and since the answer choice are laid out like this the answer of course is 30. Let's do one more. The blackboard looks horrible but that's all we can do right now. The next question is Probability question, but a very straightforward probability question, nothing to it. We are told that we have 22 white marbles, we have 18 green marbles, we are told that we have 11 yellow marbles, we are told that we have 5 red marbles, and 4 purple marbles. The question is this. The question is, what are the odds, what are the odds of picking Picking a marble that is neither red nor purple. We're going to pick one marble at random from this bag which contains these marbles. The question is if I were to pick one marble at random, what are the odds that that marble that I pick is neither red nor purple? Let's find out. So let's first find out what are the odds of picking something that is red or purple and then we'll worry about the rest later. The probability of picking something red or purple, there are, there are five reds right here and four purples. There are nine of them. We never figured out how many total there are. That's a four, that's a five, that's five plus five, ten, eighteen, and then two, twenty, that's zero, four, five, six, there are sixty marbles. You have to understand the numbers are given in the, in the problem in the exam for a reason. There is a reason why it adds up to 5 and a 4. Five, 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 divided by 60. Don't worry about 9 divided by 60. Look at it as, you should look at it as, don't look at fi 5 plus 4. Don't look at it as 5 plus 4. Look at it as 3 plus, uh, 6 plus 3. There we go. 6 we know is 10%. 3 is 5%. So that's 15%. If the odds of picking something that's either a red or a purple is 15%, then the odds of picking something that is neither red or purple must be 85%. There we go. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.